<laughs> Hi, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us here in our virtual clubhouse via Facebook. We are so grateful that we can all come together through this program. Please let us know that if you're here and watching by commenting on this post and liking it, we'd love to hear from some of our volunteers. As we're, today is we're going to be talking about volunteering with Gilda's mm -hmm. Club. So leave a comment below so that we know that you're here. Uh, today, we have two special guests with us, Mitch Newbert, our Director of Major Gifts and Corporate Sponsorship, and Rob Johns, who we are thrilled oh. to welcome onto our team as our new Volunteer Manager. Welcome, Rob and Mitch. Thank you. It's great to be here. Yeah, here. thank you so much for joining us on Facebook. I know that this is the first time, I think, for both of you. It so, is. <laughs> always thrilled to welcome new faces. Um, Rob, today we mentioned we're really excited to have you join our staff team. Uh, but this is you're not new to Gilda's Club. You've been a long time oh. supporter. <laughs> so why don't you tell us a little bit more about yourself uh, and your past involvement with Gilda's Club and LaughFest? Well, that's great. Thank you, Hannah. It's really uh, wonderful to to be here and now to be part of Gilda's staff. Um, this was something that began for me really about ten years ago uh, when I began volunteering. And at that time, it was just with LaughFest. Uh, LaughFest was new in the community. It was um, something that sounded really different and exciting. And I actually attended one of the free comedy shows. I uh, thought it sounded like a unique concept. Um, I enjoy comedy. And I just, I, I went to see what the experience was about. And at that show, I happened to see a couple of people volunteering. And I did ask about getting involved with volunteering. Didn't really know anything about Gilda's club at that time. Um, I had I was familiar with the with what with with, with what Gilda's was because I worked in long term care at the time, and so I was familiar with what Gilda's did, but not really the um, you know how to get connected to to be a part of volunteering with Gilda's, and so I. Uh, pursued an application and was accepted um, as as a volunteer. And I guess the rest is a little bit history. Um, I've been involved in every year and, and have gotten more involved uh, with different projects and different events um, over those last 10 years. Yeah, and we are really excited that you get to kind of deepen your volunteer engagement by becoming a, on staff with our volunteer manager. Um, so what, today we're going to be talking a little bit more about volunteering uh, and how anybody watching might be enter, be able to get involved. So what should someone know about volunteering for Gilda's Club? Well, first off, it's a really fun place to be. Uh, it's a very, um, you know, I've met some just wonderful people here as I'm getting to know the staff better, um, learning more about the programs that Gilda's offers for uh, those that are on a cancer journey or that are on a grief journey. And it's really uh, helped me understand better the importance of volunteers, how they interact with and how they help support the organization to meet those, um, to meet those needs that people are experiencing you know, in our community. It's been a little bit different, obviously, as we've come through the pandemic, the, the, the clubhouse, the Gilda's Clubhouse is not quite as busy as it has been in the past, but so many of the programs have continued virtually that I think it's been wonderful that they've been able to continue with the, the programming, um, even though they haven't been able to uh, meet in person consistently over the last 18 months or two years as we've been uh, you know, experiencing this, uh, this health situation. But we're finding that we're slowly uh, looking at ways to, to safely uh, reopen the clubhouse to some um, some of the programs. And right now there's some op opportunities for uh, what we call a parlor host, uh, someone to greet uh, visitors that do stop by the clubhouse uh, to provide some basic information about what Gilda's Club offers. And uh, we also have some opportunities for um, some grounds work, um, out outside grounds work, and for uh, those that may be interested in uh, providing some uh, assistance with crafts and card making. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, and as Rob said, uh, we're thrilled to be welcoming our members back. A lot of our programming is now hybrid. So we've got some precautions in place so that our members can come safely. And we're looking at kind of amping up our volunteer support at the same time with those parlor hosts that Rob mentioned who are really important for our team to be able to keep our uh, support going um, and some of those other seasonal opportunities. So um, as a former volunteer, as you think about those opportunities available and your past experience, what was your favorite part about volunteering? The thing that I really enjoyed was the uh, camaraderie that you begin to build with other volunteers that um, maybe will just come for one event or maybe are involved in all of the different events that Gilda's offers, but you start to build a rapport with uh, volunteers that are um, interested in and that are committed to uh, the mission and the vision that uh, Gilda's offers. And that's really what, it, for me, that's what it you know, came down to was seeing the, the lives of people that we were touching even though we were volunteering, we were in, making an impact in helping people um, by helping Gildas to continue the programming um, that they offer, which is free to everybody um, in the community. There's, you know, there's nobody that should be alone on a cancer or grief uh, journey. And so that's the part that I have found that, that Gildas is there to help support people at all different points in their lives, points of their journey, and they've been, um, that's where I feel that I've been able to um, gain the most uh, personally by sharing some of my time um, back you know, to the community. Yeah, and I think that's such an important point to make because while it's awesome that our volunteers can also feel connected to our mission, our mission would not be possible without our volunteers. Um, it really takes all of us in this together, whether it's staff or just community support or our volunteers who really make the day-to-day -day part of our program and our events possible. Um, so it's awesome that, that you felt connected in that way because it's true. Um, Thank you. Yeah. As we think about volunteers, how does one, if you've never volunteered before, find out more or become a volunteer for Gilda's Club? I think you know, a couple of ways. One uh, simply is our phone number. Uh, to, you know, to contact us, uh, the, the phone number is 616-453-8300. But you also can go to our website, which is gildasclubgr.org. And there's uh, some wonderful information on that page um, about Gildas in general. Then there's also a specific point or part to go to, to sign up for a volunteer orientation. Mm -hmm. Which we offer monthly thereabouts? Monthly, uh, okay. for once, or, once or twice a month actually, and, and um, at this time, yeah. Okay, awesome. Um, Mitch, we wanted to talk a little bit more about group volunteering, but before we get into that, why don't you talk a little bit more about yourself and your role at Gilda's Club? Yeah, well, I've been with Gilda's Club for just over five years now, and I work with our donors, uh, whether they are corporate partners, foundations, individuals, um, and absolutely love connecting uh, individuals and organizations philanthropically to our mission. Um, there's a lot of people who, you know, have the, the willingness and the capacity to give, and, and I just love making that connection for an organization uh, that's that's so important, like Gilda's Club. So that's a little bit about what I do. Uh, awesome. Love it. So talking about connecting um, to our mission, part of that is through phil phil philanthropically, which we could talk about in a second, but part of that also is group volunteering, which doesn't have to be through an organization, but it's commonly through one. Why don't you talk a little bit more about what group volunteering might look like? Yeah. Uh, there's a number of ways uh, for organizations and companies uh, to, to get their staff or their colleagues or their membership uh, involved with Gilda's Club in a group volunteer uh, fashion. They would reach out to me or Rob uh, to, to start that conversation. Uh, and throughout the year, generally, we, we do look at LaughFest as a, a key part of the group volunteer experience. Uh, there are opportunities on the grounds. Those tend to be not in the wintertime. 
but certainly spring, fall, and summer. Uh, and then um, we also, going forward, not just yet, usually have some meal prep as well. So uh, I know sometimes, you know, it, it's, it's as simple as going to your HR and saying, I'd like to get a group together uh, to, to come volunteer at Gildas Club, whether it's two people or 10 people, uh, or sometimes we've had 30 people. Um, so yeah, that's a little bit about group volunteering. Uh, we have a lot of great opportunities and we would love to partner in that way. So in addition to group volunteering, what is another other ways that companies or organizations might, might get involved with Gildas Club? Yeah, there's a number of, way that, number of ways that companies and organizations can get involved uh, in addition to group volunteering. Uh, one, I, I just have to say, is our West Side Walk for Gildas, which is every September, it's a walkathon on Gildas Club property. Uh, it's about a mile and a half walk, and we form teams. And a lot of those teams are family teams, but a lot of them are corporate teams. Uh, and it's a great way to get everybody out on a Saturday doing something fun for a great cause. Uh, the, the first step in that would sort of be identifying a, an ambassador in your organization who would want to be that team captain and sort of facilitate people getting involved. So I'd say forming a team for the West Side Walk is a, it's a combination of things. It's a little bit of volunteering. It's a little bit of, you know, you're showing up on the ground. Uh, it's also some fundraising, um, if you can, for Gilda's Club. So that's sort of the first opportunity. The second is sponsorship. Uh, we have a lot of companies in the area that partner with Gildas Club where they make a wonderful donation to our organization. And then as part of that, what we would call sponsorship, they will get some benefits, uh, ticket benefits, exposure benefits. I would say a lot of companies uh, do it for one of three or four main reasons. Obviously, every, everyone who's getting involved in that way has a charitable heart for Gildas Club. Um, but I think a lot of the driving force is either they want to engage colleagues and staff members more uh, from a volunteer perspective, they want some marketing benefits. Uh, so we obviously can help uh, raise their brand to some degree uh, through a partnership with any a number of our events. And then client and employee hosting. Uh, we have a lot of events where companies can give their clients and employees a nice experience. So uh, sponsorship, uh, it is, is a great way to get involved. Our four event, our four main events that have sponsorship are Gilda's Laugh Fest, our 20th anniversary Red Door Gala, which is Tuesday, March 15 this year, this upcoming year, our West Side Walk for Gilda's, and then our Gilda's Club Open every May at Egypt Valley. So those would be the four events that have sponsorship. And then um, I would say the two other ways that companies can get involved with us. One is through point of sale, roundup, charity, checkout type programming. So especially if you're uh, in the retail space, uh, you, can, you can ask for uh, you know, a donation from a customer or client to Gilda's Club. And it's just, it's a win-win-win all around. We have, that's really been a growing area for us. And then the last thing, and it's been evolving obviously in the pandemic, but historically we've had yellow up days or red days or jeans days, something to get colleagues uh, morale up and they can give, you know, five bucks and, and sort of collect that for Gildas Club. So those are sort of a number of ways for companies to get involved. And I would say if there's interest in any of those, from group volunteering to sponsorship to West Side Walk team to charity checkout to Jeans Days, just to reach out to me. Uh, and my email is mnewbert at gildasclubgr.org. Uh, and I think it's also going to be in the, uh, the comments somewhere as well. So yeah. Well, one thing that both of you mentioned a couple times that we wanted to talk about is Laugh Fest, which is right <laughs> around the corner. Um, this year, our festival is March 16th through the 20th, um, and we're thrilled and planning for an in-person festival in a safe way this year. And when I say, you know, volunteers make Gilda's Club possible, and it really does, our festival wouldn't be in no way possible without our volunteer force that comes out. So Rob, why don't you touch a little bit more about how volunteers make the festival possible and what kind of opportunities there are? Oh, I'd love to. That's uh, It's so exciting to be bringing the laughter back uh, in 2022. So uh, I definitely am looking forward to an in-person uh, festival again. And this is just a really unique festival. I think it's a very special festival. 
as I mentioned earlier, that's kind of where I started with my involvement with, with Gildas and really have, have grown to love the organization. But it started out, you know, just, uh, you know, just volunteering, uh, just trying to help out wherever I could uh, in, in that first festival and then learned more each year uh, as I went along. But there will be opportunities, uh, various teams uh, on, you know, for Laugh Fest very similar to what we do with uh, on the with Gilda's Club, in terms of having different teams of people that are able to um, serve in areas that they feel most comfortable uh, in. For example, with the with Laugh Fest, we will have in, uh, volunteers that will help at different venues where there are shows that are being performed. Uh, there will be uh, there are positions that we call venue captains that help. Uh, volunteers at that particular venue. There will be needs for people to help with um, seating our guests that come to the different shows. There will be teams set up for people that are in, interested in production of a show, for transportation of information uh, you know, throughout our community. Uh, there's uh, volunteers that will be involved with our merchandise. Uh, we'll be um, having some Gilda's Club and Laugh Fest merchandise available for sale, which is uh, usually always very popular. And there are uh, people that will be available in our, what we call Laugh Fest Central to kind of help during that particular uh, time period, just to help keep the festival running and help keeping volunteers um, directed and answering questions as they come along. So there's a lot of support. There's a lot of help, um, you know, they're not, you know, it's not certainly just the staff here, at Gilda's Club, but we have some uh, wonderful volunteer leaders that have uh, been involved over the last few years. And um, I think you'll find there's just a lot of support um, for a person to get involved in a, in a very small way or in a much bigger way, um, you know, kind of as Mitch has mentioned. Yeah, and I mean, if you've never volunteered before, don't let that be a barrier to joining. It's a great first time experience. It um, is. Trying, signing up for uh, one or two shifts or deciding you mm -hmm. want to go every day of the festival, which we definitely have some volunteers who do, which we're so yeah. grateful for. Um, we, we anticipate that the applications uh, will be open uh, about mid-January uh, for it, people that would be interested in applying for a volunteer position. And then there will be trainings available for each of those teams. So we don't want you to feel that you're just going to be put somewhere and, and expected to perform, uh, we, you will be properly trained and there will be plenty of resources available to help you uh, be successful in your volunteer effort. Yeah, and I, I also think it's worth mentioning, you said that one of the things that you loved about volunteering was the camaraderie. And I think LaFest in particular is a, a place, an opportunity for to really get to know your fellow volunteers. Um, and work together for something, which is awesome. I've always felt like it's got a great experience, not just by helping us with the festival and doing it for a good cause, but then also getting to know the others that you're working with. That's great, yeah, very true. Yeah. Is there anything else that we'd like to, you guys didn't think we touched on that you'd like to say about volunteering or group opportunities? We hope you join us. <laughs> Thank you for, for considering and listening. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you everyone for joining us here today on Facebook. If you missed us um, when the stream is going to be available shortly, it's also available on our YouTube channel and our website in our virtual uh, archive section. We hope that you learned a little bit more about our volunteer program and maybe were inspired, as Mitch said, to join us. <laughs> um, it, Rob mentioned the LaFest volunteer applications are going to open in mid-January. We also have some other exciting announcements coming in mid-January for LaFest, so keep your ears peeled. Um, if you have any other questions about the festival or volunteering, please drop a line below and we'll try to answer as soon as we're able to. Um, Thank Gilda's Club during this time. We just wanted to also talk about it. If you're new to Gilda's Club, um, we are a free cancer and grief emotional health support program. And right now we have a full program with options in person, hybrid and virtual. So you can engage in the way that's most comfortable for you. Um, 
we that program continues. If you'd like to learn more, we invite you to visit our website at gildasclubgr.org or reach out to us on the phone at 616-453-8300. Thank you again so much for watching today and we look forward to seeing you again next time. Thank you. And thanks Rob and Mitch too for joining us. Thank you. Happy New look Year. forward to having you join us. Thanks.